AutoCAD provides a number of 3D viewing and navigation tools to help you navigate through 3D models and set up specific views. The ViewCube is one of these navigation tools. By default, the ViewCube is displayed in the upper right corner of the current view window. The ViewCube is a persistent interface that you can click or click and drag to switch between standard and isometric views of your model. If you reorient the view by using the 3D Orbit command, for example, the view cube reorients to provide visual feedback about the current viewpoint of the model as the view changes. You can also use the view cube to reorient the model. For example, when you click and drag the compass circle surrounding the view cube, you can rotate the model. When you click a corner of the view cube, the model reorients to a three-quarter view based on that corner. Clicking an edge of the view cube reorients the view of the model to a half view based on the two sides of the model. When you click a face of the view cube, the view changes to a standard orthographic view, such as top, bottom, front, back, left, and right, based on the face you selected. When viewing the model from one of these orthogonal views, small triangles appear near the sides of the view cube. You can click these triangles to switch to one of the adjacent face views, or click these arrows to rotate the view. You can also click and drag the view cube to reorient the model to a custom viewpoint. Note that when you reorient the model in this way, the edges of the view cube appear dashed. But when you reorient the model to one of the predefined views, the view cube edges appear solid. When you hover the cursor near the view cube, you can also see a small house icon. This represents the ViewCube home view, which by default is a southwest or top left front three-quarter view. You can right-click the house icon or click the small button that appears to the lower left of the ViewCube to display the ViewCube shortcut menu. The tools on this menu enable you to change various settings. For example, when you click Set Current View as Home, the current view orientation becomes the new Home View. That view will then be restored whenever you click the Home icon. You can also switch between a parallel projection and one of two types of perspective projections. In a parallel projection, parallel lines remain parallel. Whereas in a perspective projection, parallel lines appear to converge as they recede into the distance. A parallel projection makes it easier to work with a model since all edges of the model appear the same size regardless of their distance from the camera. But parallel projection is not how you see objects in the real world. So when you want to generate a more realistic view of the model, switch to a perspective projection. Click View Cube Settings to open the View Cube Settings dialog. The controls in this dialog enable you to change various View Cube settings, such as the position of the View Cube on the screen, the size of the View Cube, and its transparency. The View Cube is an invaluable tool when viewing and navigating 3D models.